Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I will be performing a burn severity analysis using imagery from before and after the wildfire event that occurred in Lytton, BC. Similarly to my last video, I am still remote, so everything from today's workflow uh, can be completed using an internet connection and an ArcGIS Online login. Now, I will also be leveraging the ArcGIS image for ArcGIS Online extension. If you don't have access to this extension yet, please contact your ArcGIS Online administrator. All right, now let's jump in. I'm here in ArcGIS Online Map Viewer, where I've added my two images from before and after the wildfire. To perform a burn severity analysis, I'm going to look at my raster analysis tools and browse through the raster function templates that are available. Here, I have access to previously saved templates and can browse through my content, my organization, and more. Today, I'm going to look for a burn severity analysis in ArcGIS Online, and I can see that my colleague Vinay has already created one. I'm going to edit this template to take a deeper look behind the scenes. I can now see that this tool applies a normalized burn ratio to both images, subtracts the two, and then reclassifies the data at the end. I'm going to edit the normalized burn ratio to better reflect my imagery, and I can save my changes as a new template in my content. Now let's run the tool. I'll input my parameters, rename my output layer, and run the analysis. And here are the results. We can see there are areas that were severely impacted by the wildfire, and there are some areas that remain unburned as well. The best part about this workflow is that you now have a raster function template saved to your ArcGIS Online account and can complete a burn severity analysis from anywhere using your own data.